today I would like to talk about something which is not very simple to talk about. As you can see, I'm not in my usual environment. I actually, I'm in my in a little corner of my shop. I don't have a lot of light because it's soon going to be the evenings. In this corner, I don't have a lot of light, but I thought as long as I have a little light, maybe I can try to do my video. Okay, so I, I want to talk about the romantic aspect of Marcolis music. It's very difficult to talk about that because it's not something tangible. It's not something that I read about. I didn't find specifically any article talking about it. It's maybe something that I feel just me, but it's weird because it's really something that I feel, but I can't give you specific proofs of what I'm feeling. I'm just going to tell you a little story which happened to me like three days ago. Uh, three days ago, I was working on my computer, on my sales, my, my usual work, and uh, it was the evening and uh, I thought, wow, I've not been listening to music or to talk talks since a while, maybe two weeks without music, which is kind of crazy for me. And I thought, I'm working on my photos, on things which don't require a lot of uh, attention. I mean, when I work on my photos, I need attention, but it's not the same attention as when I listen to music. So I thought I can listen to music and work on my photos in the same time. And of course, as I hadn't listened to Talk Talk music during two weeks, when I started again, it's automatically amplified because the, the power of the music is even stronger when I stay away during a while. So I was very in the work mood, I mean, no problem for working, no problem to be focused on my work, but I put the music on and actually started listening to the album It's My Life and it was very powerful and it was so powerful that I was like what, what am I doing I didn't even know what I was doing on my photos where I was like if I was completely lost and completely uh, disoriented because the music was taking the whole place in my mind I mean and uh, I thought that's weird that it changed my mood by such a strong way, such a powerful way. And the, the first idea which came to my mind, it's, it's so romantic, it's so romantic. I thought that really the music was incredibly romantic. And then I started thinking, what is romantic in it because I you must find what makes it romantic and I'm unable to say that's what is terrible is that it may be an instrument or part of the song or something which makes me think it's really so romantic I'm not talking about new romanticism you know a movement of music I'm not saying that uh, uh, talk Talk was a part of this movement or this movement, I mean new wave, uh, pop, uh, I don't know, post-rock. Uh, I'm unable to tell you what movement, I know nothing about movements and I, I don't like to put a definition on a music. I feel this kind of romanticism in simple minds, but, 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 there is a but. In simple minds, first, I don't have images coming in my mind, second, I, I don't feel the love, so I, when I listen to Tok Tok, I feel the love, I receive a love, and it's a romantic love, and you know, I thought, there are not many things which give me this kind of effect. So there is talk talk music. There is sometimes uh, when I'm in Los Angeles uh, driving or 
or even in a bus. I mean, if I'm in movement in the street and if I hear some music because the music is playing or oh, some music in my head, in my mind. And the other day I was reading a book uh, written by Rachel Ashwell, she's a like, designer in home decor and I was uh, reading her book and, and she was saying that whatever she was doing, whatever she was selling, whatever she was designing or choosing in the flea markets or, or drawing for future fabric or something like that, there was always, yes, I was saying that there was always a soul, an intention, a little story behind the thing. And I have the feeling that there are a few things in this world, for me actually, which gives me a little more than the simple thing. It's not a simple song, it's not a simple album, it's not a simple singer or composer. There is a little more which is transmitted, There's something sacred, something which is a little more than what we expect. Uh, the same thing in Los Angeles uh, when I'm in my car driving with the music which is not always good in my car and I see the landscape, the palm trees. I think there is a little more than what the American people want to show us here. What is interesting, it's not Hollywood, the, the American dream and the, the actresses and the bling bling. Uh, no, that doesn't interest me. What interests me, it's the, the, the landscape, the nature, what we see beyond what is seen in the first place. I'm not sure that I managed to explain really well what I mean. It's something that I feel and I wanted to know if I was the only one to feel it or if other people like me think when they listen to Talk Talk or Marcolis that there is something terribly romantic in this music. I don't even talk about the lyrics. I don't think that I think of the lyrics by saying that it's really in the music. Maybe in the voice, it's possible. Maybe in the voice, I, I must think about it. Okay, I will come back on that because I don't think that I have all the answers now and maybe I will have more answers later. For example, you see something like that, that I do, I paint on a shell and uh, with a snail shell. It's a simple object where you can put your coins, your rings, your thing. But for me, it's a little more than that. It's like a little piece of paradise. I, I, I put another intention in what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And it's not a matter of price. Whatever the price I sell it, I don't sell it very high price, I think it's five or six dollars, so it's very cheap. But I could sell it for fifty dollars, I could sell it for one thousand dollars. It's not the problem, the problem is the intention I put in this. For me, a shell, I love shells, I'm crazy about shells, and there is something very sensual and romantic in it. And I feel the same thing in Tok Tok music. I'm sorry, my camera is not very straight. If you saw the installation I made to hold my iPhone, you wouldn't believe it. Actually, you see a little piece. There is a box here, which is really nice, actually. And it's holding my, my phone. I was not really well prepared today. Too much work to do. Anyway, it's a work in progress. I will come back on that for sure. And 
of course, I see you very soon, very soon. I'm always there, always talking about art and music and I'm far from being done. I see you very soon, bye bye. Thank you.